In this video, we'll talk about a potential Black Panther 2 merch leak giving fans an early look at the Ironheart armor. It was always going to be tough for MCU fans to move on from T'Challa and Tony Stark, but the future is here, and so is the next phase. So fans better gear up for what's in store and stop calling the last phase a disappointment. First up, leaked Black Panther merchandise gives a look at the upgraded Ironheart armor. Black Panther Wakanda Forever was always going to be an emotional ride for more than one reason. Not only will the fans finally know who will receive the Black Panther mantle, but the movie will also introduce a very crucial character in the Marvel Universe. As we already got a glimpse of Dominique Thorne's Riri Williams in the Black Panther 2 teaser trailer, it seems obvious that Marvel has solid plans to throw Ironheart in the multiverse saga mix. Ironheart will serve as the hottest MCU topic for debate once the movie is released because it looks like a potential continuance of the Iron Man legacy. So are the fans ready for someone else to even continue the Stark legacy knowing full and well that even Tom Cruise's rumored appearance as Iron Man wasn't accepted? Robert Downey's Tony Stark may be the only character in the MCU that fans aren't ready to replace by anyone. Still, everyone is interested to know how the MCU has set up Ironheart's story, and will Wakanda forever give the character the necessary push in the multiverse? Though not directly, Marvel has been teasing Ironheart's potential looks, first through a Funko Pop image, not that it gave much to go on with, and now we have a new toy set. Some Twitter user has shared Marvel Studios' first look at the upgraded Ironheart armor from Wakanda Forever and a new Hasbro Titan Hero Series toy set. Someone spotted the set at Target, giving some insight into a new Ironheart design that may give fans some nostalgic shocks. Up next, is there any way for the new Ironheart armor to feature in Black Panther 2? Well, that's hard to tell until a new trailer or the movie arrives, we can certainly talk about the toy set situation. The most detailed information about Ironheart that fans have is from a merchandise leak, so we can all understand how much the studio wants this as hush hush. Fans are speculating that the action figure's costume might be the final armor that will be featured in Black Panther 2, or it may be a hint toward the upcoming Ironheart series on Disney+. Plus. The most exciting thing about the action figure armor is that it closely resembles that of Iron Man's initial suits. The red pays homage to the Iron Man's signature armor, but Riri Williams' action hero seems to be getting an upgrade here. On close speculation of literally an action figure in a store, experts among fans say that the armor is a mix of Riri's Mark II and Mark III armors from the comics. The Mark III has the classic combos of pink, black, and gold, while Mark II is most identical to Stark's first armor. The action figure's armor is a mix of two with distinct red and black highlights, a heart-shaped chest emblem, and a glowing EKG line running in the middle of the suit. The suit is also sleeker and much more finished than the previously featured design, so it's safe to assume that it's the final look for the hero. Comic book fans can easily recognize the mixed armor from 2017's Invincible Iron Man number 4 and the black highlight design that is featured in Champions number 22. So who else made an appearance in the new Black Panther 2 toys? Come on guys, it was only a box of action figures and not a movie scene leak. So chill, but we can't, can we? Marvel has a way of hiding clues in plain sight, so fans have been more cautious than ever since the slip-up from Avengers Infinity War when Doctor Strange literally named the next movie. So yes, we're looking at toy boxes and can't wait to get into the details of Shuri and Namor's action figures as well. Shuri is wearing a purple jumpsuit suit in the toy set, which can mean a lot of things. Is this her separate costume, or is this her Black Panther costume? There were rumors that Shuri might take up the Black Panther mantle, but fans aren't sure, and they would like to keep a track of everything. As for Namor, we get a good look at the Mesoamerican designs of his neckwear and belt with great details, including the winged ankles of the Submariner. The information on the toys is compelling, but Marvel is being tight-lipped from all aspects not to spoil anything from the biggest movies of Phase 4. Also, fans are speculating that Ironheart seems to take the center position. Could this mean that her role in the MCU will develop into something big. Well, we are rooting for the whole Young Avengers arc because all the members are seemingly there. Let's not indulge in false hopes without an announcement. But until then, let's just wait in excitement for one of the best movies of the year. Coming up, how much of Iron Man can fans see in Ironheart? Since the MCU has already announced an Ironheart series on Disney+, Plus, it doesn't look like Wakanda Forever would be Riri Williams' time to be in the spotlight, though she is meant to be a part of the Black Panther gang, according to the trailer. It can be expected that the studios will keep up most of the tech magic and the whole Tony Stark buy for her standalone series. It's possible that Wakanda Forever may feature a more amateur or earlier version of Ironheart's armor, like the leaked photos from the set. The chunky-looking metal armor closely resembles Tony Stark's cave suit or Rhodes' prototype armor, so we see more of that Tony Stark armor rather than something completely different. Fans are happy that Riri's armors are staying true to the comic version. Ironheart will be coming to the platform in fall of 2023. Related news. So, fans want to know why this one big character change was made in the She-Hulk series. The female version of the Hulk is all the rave these days, as She-Hulk is also proving to be a critically successful show. Marvel has really outdone itself in the female representation departments, but toxic masculinity is still paving the way with review bombings. Jennifer Walters has made her smashing debut on screen, and fans were quick to pick up this major difference in the character's origin story. It's not new for the MCU to alter character arcs, stories, and even complete characters to accommodate their writing. In Episode 1, the fans are introduced to the She-Hulk as Bruce Banner and Jennifer Walters are out on a road trip, and their car is sent flying off the road when a Sakaran ship appears out of nowhere. Bruce's 
blood accidentally bleeds into Jennifer's, and voila, we get a successful show at our hands. On the other hand, in the comics, Jennifer is gravely wounded by a hit from a crime boss, and to save her life, Bruce transfuses his blood into hers. She-Hulk head writer admitted that Marvel didn't like the mob hit story, and said it wasn't interesting enough. Next up, Marvel Studios' Fantastic Four finds a director. Let's get one thing straight. The original Fantastic Four was not a disaster. It's actually a lovely superhero guilty pleasure. Chris Evans could have made it as the Human Torch, but the reboot? It was a cardinal sin to begin with. Why can't movie makers understand that if they're gonna go for the reboot, then why not give the audience what they want? Heck, we don't pay to watch movies if they're gonna cringe us at every second. And so, the Marvel Studios took it upon themselves to right some wrongs. And now, a new Fantastic Four movie is dawning, and the movie finally has a director. It looks like Marvel bagged a big-time director and not just anyone, but the man behind WandaVision and various episodes from Madman, The Boys, Game of Thrones, Fargo, and more. He's none other than Matt Shackman, and we beg him to finally give us an MCU-level FF that we deserve. Sources have also confirmed that it's going to be an origin story, so yes, we look forward to some comic-level stuff. And finally, people are still debating about who could replace T'Challa in the MCU. Well, in all truth, no one. People can't still accept the fact that their beloved Black Panther will no longer ignite the screen. The untimely death of actor Chadwick Boseman left the future of Wakanda uncertain, especially as to who could take his place. While we wouldn't want that at all, the show must go on. The teaser trailer for Wakanda Forever has only hinted toward a new Black Panther, but obviously, the identity is hidden. Fan theories strongly indicate Shuri taking up the role because of her various action figure costumes. But that's like looking for a needle in a haystack. The MCU isn't known to be too obvious, so we assume that it's going to take a movie ticket for us to get the big reveal. That's a wrap for this video. What crazy fan theories do you guys have about Black Panther or the future MCU projects? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.